In less than 10 seconds, tell us how you would describe a managed security service to a really technical audience. So in a nutshell, think of a managed security service as an extension of your internal cybersecurity team. So for the cost of hiring one or two mid-level security analysts, you can have a team providing extended support to your environment, managing your security information and event management system, your vulnerability management servers, and for example, your web application firewalls, and many more others. Um, you have service level targets in place um, to keep your MSSP honest, and that's import important. And if you're not happy with the service, you can discontinue at the conclusion of the contract and hire a new provider. And if you were to bring it up a level, and if you are in front of a business audience, how is that going to sound like? So, um, imagine having to maintain your garden, right? Some people love it, some people hate it. But you either don't have the time or you don't have green fingers. What do you do? You hire or you outsource the upkeep of your garden to a landscaper. As simple as that. I like that. Very, very practical. And if you are not talking to little children, how is that going to sound like? Oh, that's a that's a diff difficult one, Charmaine. Um, <laughs> so let's say, does, does mum or dad expect you to either clean your room or watch your little brother or sister? Now imagine you can have someone else do it for you. That is what a managed security service is. <laughs> I love it. And it's interesting how it gets shorter and shorter, the description, depending on yeah, who your audience of course. is. Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to the Secure Talk Show. My name is Shamin Tan, I'm your host and I'm really happy to have with me the Director of Securo, who looks after managed security services, Werner Kurtzi. Hi Werner, how are you? Hey Shamin, I'm very good, thank you. And thanks for having me on your show. Oh, excellent. It's a secure talk show. So we definitely need to have you on the show. What we're going to do now is just talk about a really important topic, especially for today's day and age. Um, we're talking about, you know, managed security services. You know, what are some of the common um, current challenges that our customers face? And why would managed security service be a good solution for them? Well, that's an excellent, excellent question, Charmaine. So there's there's various factors to consider, right? So uh, I'll list out three for you. So limited cybersecurity budget is mm. one. Um, having limited visibility of your technological landscape within your organization. And then thirdly, having limited expertise should an incident occur. Now, you can hire an MSSP for the cost of one or two internal security analysts depending on the services and capabilities that you're after, as an example. Mm. Um, an MSSP, through um, the use of a managed team, could, could provide you with 24-7, 365 event monitoring and detection, triage and response within your organization. And that reduces the inherent risks as detected th threats could be picked up quickly and contained before they wreak havoc within your environment. And then thirdly there, um, if the purple hits the fan, you need mm. to remain calm. You need to yes. think clearly, but you also need to act quickly as time is of the essence. Now, this is where an MSSP can be of great help, offering you with digital forensics and incident response through the use of the experienced resources that are operating in accordance to your pre-agreed service level agreements and in line with your risk appetite. Excellent. MSSP can be really helpful indeed. And, you know, if you took it, look at the other side then, you know, what are some of the key requirements that MSSPs should be offering? So there's a, there's a number that we can talk about here, right? Um, and there's, a, there's quite a large list. Um, so we'll call out a few that I believe are fairly important. So definitely service level agreement customization is right mm. up there. And that is to ensure that the service you're receiving are aligned with your business appetite and your response requirements. Now, all MSSP will offer out of the box um, list of service level agreements, but make sure that these can be customized and tailored to your needs. Does a managed security service provider offer you customized reporting to meet your organizational schedule mm -hmm. and reporting requirements, right? Um, yeah. No one size fits all. Um, so do they cater for technical reports? Do they cater for um, senior management reports? Because both of those stakeholder groups require different mm -hmm. metrics and need a uh, different set of information and attributes that they need to use in order to report either horizontally or vertically. 
And then thirdly there, um, having around the clock service coverage. So does your MSSP offer 24 seven by 365 um, coverage? Um, that would give you peace of mind during weekends, for example, and on public holidays to know that your organization is being looked after. Mm -hmm. Then in line with um, that second last one <clears throat> would be response actions. Um, mm. If you've got a pre-agreed scope of actions that an MSSP can perform on your behalf, that is invaluable. I mean, there's not much point in having a managed scene or a SOC provider and you get called at 2 a.m. in the morning and they advise you that, oh, um, we've noticed a certain activity within your environment. We recommend that you disable this user's account or implement a firewall block rule on the network to stop lateral movement. Um, your MSSP should be empowered and trusted to perform mm -hmm. certain response activities that fits within your business's risk appetite. All excellent consideration points, Werner, and uh, definitely helpful indeed for companies to look at if they're trying to make a decision on who best to engage with. So thank you so much for this amazing sound bites. Thanks again, Werner. And uh, for those who are tuning in, thank you so much for your time. And we look forward to having you at the next one. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Shemaine. See ya. Bye.